Jerry, what is your tip for people that want to become a better service designer? Um, I guess it's probably form deeper humility and deeper empathy for the persons that you're working with. It's it's super important to be able to understand where they're coming from and making sure that where we're going to is somewhere that they, they feel that they've got a shared ownership of. Um, I'm always practicing to become a better listener. Um, I know my wife could be watching it and she's like, that's quite funny because I don't listen at home. But... Uh, <laughs> I'm probably going to get in trouble for saying that. You're still the practicing. <laughs> well, my excuse at home is like I, I spend all my day listening. So um, my, my I run out of credit in my ears and I, I've got no longer listening capability to listen. <laughs> but um, yeah, becoming a, a much better listener and not just listening for audio, listening for, for cues in terms of body language and listening for like contextual understanding of the situations and the legacy of of anyone that you're researching mm. um becoming a better re uh, service designer is actually uh, becoming a better researcher in a lot of a lot of senses understanding what what's ethically appropriate in terms of a methodology to be applied um i, I don't believe that service design is uh, separate to any other discipline I, th I think we're the conduit between um or the oil between a uh, lots of different cogs and we need to work better and we need to become better like people to, to be able to listen and, and enable that cross-functional discipline to, to occur. Was this a helpful tip? Let me know by clicking the like button down below. And if this is your first time here, I would love to have you to subscribe to the channel so we can keep bringing you more videos like this.